Um, Casper2206 here, YouTube. Uh, how you doing? I have not done this in a long time. Guardians of the Galaxy. I just got back from seeing it. There's my shirt, Rocket and Group. Holy crap, I knew nothing about Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, until Marvel vs. Capcom 3, the video game came out. Rocket Raccoon's a playable fighter in that game. And, um, so after I was like, okay, this character's awesome, who is this? So I googled him, and I found out the, what the Guardians of the Galaxy were, and I read up on everyone's origin, so I was pumped for this movie when it came out. Uh, I've never read any of the books, though. But I want to tell you, but this movie is one of Marvel's best movies. It is funny, action-packed. Um, you got, you got Chris Pratt as Star Wars, and he's hilarious. And you got, uh, Bradley Cooper as the voice of Rocket Raccoon. He's so incredibly funny and witty. You got, um, uh, Zoe Saldana as Gamora, who's the, uh, adopted daughter of Thanos. Um, she's an assassin fighter, but she's, like, not an evil woman. She's, she's actually... Like kind of innocent and sweet woman, but she's still a badass, which is awesome. Dave Bautista, WWE wrestler Dave Bautista as Drax the Destroyer, which the most surprising performance because you know Dave Bautista, he's not really an actor. Um, and I've seen um, the Man with the Iron Fists, and he's in that. He's okay in that. I was really surprised at how good he was in this movie. And then you got Vin Diesel as the voice of Groot, which is a completely CGI character. So is Rocket Raccoon, played by Bradley Cooper. But Groot, the, he has very he has moments here and there in the movie, but every time he has a moment, it is hilarious. You got, you got, um, Benicio Del Toro as the Collector, who when they go to the, when the, when you see the Collector's lair, there's a lot of nice little Easter eggs in the back and stuff, because he co just collects stuff from the Marvel Universe. Lots of Easter eggs in that scene. Um, uh, you got Ronan the Accuser as the bad guy, which I... Ah, oh, I forget the actor's name, uh, it escapes me right now, please comment, put his name in the comments, um, but he was really good, really evil, really menacing, I thought, um, lots of, no lots of, um, Easter eggs with him, too, um, cause he's part of an alien race in the Marvel Universe that we just, in this movie, just got to see, um, which is awesome, so we know that alien race is in the Marvel Universe now, um, and we see Thanos, and he actually talks, and it's Josh Brolin. And it's awesome! I cannot wait for Avengers 3 when he's a bad guy. Overall, great movie. I give this movie, it's gotta be an 8 out of 10. That's how good this movie is. It is, it is, not, I mean, I'll probably see it again. But Avengers is still above it. I think. I'll have to see it again. But as of right now, my top three favorite Marvel movies have to be... Avenger, or, yeah, Avengers, Captain America 2, Guardians of the Galaxy. That's how good this movie is. So I suggest you go see it. Go go get a Guardians of the Galaxy t-shirt at Walmart or Hot Topic. Go get one. Go see this movie now. Do it.